Hello guys, good morning. Okay, my name is um, Naira Daddy, and today we will be talking about smart media tokens. I'm going to explain in as much detail as possible what smart media tokens are. So that many people have been asking this question, what are smart media tokens? They've been hearing about it, but they don't really know what it means. So I'm going to try to explain that in a very short 10 minutes, 15 minutes video. Okay. Now, if you know about the Ethereum blockchain and the way that they try to make um, smart contracts, that's is a system for, for, for people to be able to design decentralized apps which they call dApps and on the on the blockchain people can design those apps and run them and use the Ethereum system Ethereum and blockchain for it and for incentivization and all that but on Steam blockchain our focus Ned's focus this person you're seeing here is Ned Okay, on the Steam blockchain, Ned's focus is content provision and content rewarding. That's to say, um, content creation and content curation. Now, Steam blockchain is the first of its kind in the sense that we are able to reward people for posting different things by com through the community giving up votes and all that based on steam power and and other factors and people earn curation rewards for doing that now the smart media tokens is adding another layer to that technology in the sense that it will now give other people that are not even part of the steam blockchain people that have not registered on the steam blockchain the ability to utilize the steam blockchain on their own website take for example now in nigeria we have a popular website or a popular blogger known as linda ikeji and she has a popular blog known as linda ikeji blog lib it's popular because people visit it every day just imagine that linda ikeji is able to use smart media tokens and import it into her blog you know the, the 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 smart in the in the in the media tokens the the smart there means that you don't even have to be computer literate to do these things you don't even have to be a developer to do these things like they've already pre-designed everything so all you just have to do is fill certain forms and download what has already been pre-designed and it starts working on your system. It means Linda Ikeji will be able to reward her users, and they will be able to upvote her, uh, uh, her 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 blogs, and people will be able to upvote their own comments. She can upvote people, and people can earn by visiting her blog. So now, this is the general logo of Smart Media Tokens. See, the Steam blockchain is at the center, and other media are revolving around it. You can see other media where be it um, video websites like DTube, be it D Sound, be it um, blog blogging websites like um, BusyOrg or Steemit, be it um, whatever it is, they are all revolving around the Steam blockchain. Now, <coughs> let's hear from the horse's mouth himself. He said smart media token, a new way for publishers to monetize their online content and community based on battle tested blockchain technology and if you want to hear it from the voice of ned I can play this video for you um i'll just play it for a while so that you hear it from the horse's mouth himself guys i have something really important i want to tell you about it's called smart media tokens i think it's going to be huge i just finished a white paper it's 50 pages long it's really technical and in-depth and has some discussion sections at the end. I want you to read it and tear it apart. Tell me where the holes are, what you don't like about it, why it's going to fail, and then tell the community. 
and let them know why it's going to fail. And if you don't think it's going to fail, tell them why you think it won't, and then tell them how you think you might use it. And I think if we can go through this process together, we might be on the verge of building something huge. Yeah. Smart media yeah. tokens, read the white paper, tell your friends, yeah. download it, share it, all that stuff. Thank you, Ned. Thank you, Ned, for that. Now, um, let's get back to business. So, that is his own words. Like, he, when, when he published this, this was around, um, I think, September or thereabout, when um, the Smart Media Tokens was published for the first time. Now, I will still open the white paper when we are ready to go read it. Let me, let me open it. This is the white paper, man. It's quite... Um, I'll download it and then that's cool now open it through my PDF you can see the creators at Ned and theoretical developers theoretical so many of these guys van der Berg Spore Minion UK country Piconel it was me Zay Gradek Psycho Michael contributors sketch designs copyright then um meanwhile We'll still come back to the white paper. Let's continue. So he tried to explain it in simple terms. He says the problem: publishers and creators struggle to make a profit from their digital content. Why? And that's true. So many bloggers out there don't even make a kobo or a cent from what they are doing. Nobody is there to support them. You know, they blog, they write every day, they use WordPress, they use um, Blogspot and all those other blogging websites. But nothing really comes out of it. It's only Steamy that incentivizes people. Then people are on social media every day too. Like Facebook, like Instagram, like Twitter, like WhatsApp, everything. But they never get paid for these things. They are just doing it because they just want. They are getting social rewards. But no financial rewards. Well, but in this world, you need financial rewards to be able to function properly so he now said it's hard for publishers to acquire a critical mass of paying subscribers like on youtube before you start earning for what you do you are going to to have at least ten thousand ten thousand um, uh, um, views or even up to two hundred thousand subscribers which is you know very crazy <laughs> you know what the number of years and amount of work and amount of even money you need to put into promotion before you can reach that you no know, that, that amount of um, um, people so that is why many people don't earn anything so they say ad revenue is taking a hit with the rise of ad blockers so there are browsers like brave browser that is going to block any ads Okay, so say tips and donations are not viable due to the expense of processing micro payments. So huge social networks like Facebook take profit from publishers but don't share revenue, which is very true. It's one of the major things that the Steam blockchain has been fighting. Like so many of these top um, websites that we know, top social media websites, they just they never reward their, their members with anything. All they do is take all the profits and members are there and members are the ones that are making the money you know people spend 24 hours on Facebook but they never get paid for it I, I've decided not, not to do that again so the solution enable publishers to create tokens that help monetize content and grow communities so it means that publishers people that do this on a normal day should be able to create their own tokens and um, put it fix it into their website or into their blog or into their social media and be and now be able to create that already existing community incentivize them monetize it start making money from it and also start rewarding your members so how tokens enable publishers to create mutually beneficial community-based economic incentive to drive platform growth smart media tokens with near instant settlement and non-zero transaction fees opens up new non-advertising business models. Publishers can also use the tokens to fundraise via an ICO. So it makes so much sense. Like, you know, now um, initial coin offering has become the new IPO, initial public offerings. So if you, if you are not in the crypto world, I don't know where you are really. So 
it enables you to be able to incentivize your your community you know reward people for using your community and allow people to reward themselves too and other people on the community and you also earn by having a community or having a blog or having a website or any of those things then another thing you can easily get your own to tokens and then move it into the initial coin offering so that more people will support let's say you have a world changing idea that you need people to hear about then you can easily move it forward so what are smart media tokens smart media token is a native digital asset asset on the steam blockchain that can be quickly launched by anyone to help monetize online content and create incentives to encourage desired user behavior so it's still the same thing i've already explained just understand it it's now a native that that means it's native to steam blockchain so it was built on the steam blockchain and it's now like an api such a way that when someone needs it you just import it they are like ethereum's erc20 tokens but with certain built-in proof of brain properties so proof of brain is what makes steam it different from any other platform like bitcoin uses proof of work um all this other one uses proof of work eos is delegated proof of stake but we we are using proof of brain in the sense that you are you get rewarded for the content provision content production content creation you know and then people that curate it also get rewarded for content curation so so specifically for digital content businesses proof of brain community incentives proof of brain is a type of tokens rewards algorithm that encourages people to create and curate content yeah so because they have posting rewards and they have curation rewards it enables tokens to be distributed by upvote and like based algorithms and can be integrated with websites to align incentives between application owners and community members to spur growth so focus on your community and content there's no need to be a crypto expert this, this, that's what that's the advantage i've been stressing like this smart media tokens now gives you the ability just do your thing get your community alive get your people together just keep doing your thing posting your content um you have you already have readers that are following you you already have people that are reading your content every day just keep doing what you're doing all you just need to do is import this smart media tokens it's going to be launched in 2018 and it's going to be massive so if you don't even know about smart media that's why i'm taking my time to explain this so it's going to be very massive so you said which has been smt run on the steam blockchain which has been battle tested for over a year on steam it blogging social network and it has really been battle tested like i'm a testimony to it you know it rewards you for doing the work and posting great content people come and upvote you and people also earn for upvoting you so it's it's a win-win for everybody curate content create content you win so with zero transaction fees you can send this thing this team um, um coins to anybody anywhere easily there's no transaction fee and it's super fast this is three to 15 second transaction super fast not these lags that we are getting from bitcoin and lags too from ethereum of recent so it's super fast in fact it's 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 um um um, steam the steam blockchain and um, bitshares blockchain are the ones that reached one million and the one billion transactions per day so they are very super fast so steam is a zero fee near instant settlement blockchain that already processes more transactions per second than bitcoin or ethereum networks yes this does like three transactions per second and after initial setup publishers can focus on creating value for their community rather than worrying about managing the blockchain technology yeah that's true so now see an example of a form that you have to fill all you just have to do is fill a form smt setup now anyone can set up their own custom token and you can name it for example you have a fashion website you can name it 
um, fashion tokens token symbol fashion content rewards can have either a linear or geometrical reward curve and what is the maximum total supply of tokens to be created you you specify it curation rewards curve bounded or non-bounded and all that emission rate you, you, you specify it yearly and all that do you want to raise funds via an ICO you say yes or no now fundraising details you when is when the ICO is starting when the ICO is closing what is the minimum amount to raise what is the maximum amount to raise who should receive the funds from ICO you see you see you see so dynamic properties they are still more in the form so it just makes everything so easy you don't even you know in ethereum blockchain you have to go to the blockchain you have to you have to be a designer actually to be able to create an application on top of the blockchain or if you are not a designer you have to actually spend thousands but all this one will cost you is just one dollar they call it the service charge that's all that's all getting your own SMT will cost you one dollar so now anyone can set up their own custom token it's quick and easy to set up your own token choose from several out-of-the-box options based on common use cases or customize your token as you wish create the right incentives that will drive platform growth and reward your community use the token to fundraise from the community so it's fun example smt use cases just a few ways existing just a few ways existing companies and future entrepreneurs can use smts to transform their digital operations so let's let's see examples for example this person is technology technology review just right blah, blah 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 this is a blog now people are commenting bam bam so now people are voting the comments you see 240 24.80 tech tokens you see this is the, that's it content publishers a single token support mainstream media website growth has been slowing and they are looking for ways to get ahead of the changing landscape the website migrates to a discourse like application based on steam or taps directly into steam api for a custom integration now their subscribers can be rewarded with cryptocurrency while commenting when the website is ready, they can issue their own token through the comments interface. The token will allow them to raise capital by selling tokens, catalyze autonomous growth. See, for example, see another example like someone that does gardening. So their token is gardening. So they get an upvote on ChainBB. Bam! They get another upvote in gardening, ChainBB gardening, and all that. So content creation and content curation. So people that run forums like ChainBB or people that run forum, forums like Gardening get this get to use this website. Then this one runs a fashion blog, which I've already explained previously. So through the comments widget, based on the um, Steam API, they will be able to do that. Finance to see fame, fame. So whatever your token is. So you have sub community moderators and managers imagine you're a moderator for a specific topic inside the forum such as reddit so if you if a website integrates smts for this specific topic then the topic moderator can launch these tokens to empower the subscribers of their topic raise funds and increase the quality of content duration for the community yeah so so the the whole point of smt is tokenize your content with your own smt and is launching in 2018 i think in the first quarter of 2018 we'll see we'll really see this um, smt is working very fine so let's see um let's see what um the white paper has to say i won't go through it in depth just we'll just scroll through like he mentioned it's a 50 page white paper so here he went ahead to explain a token protocol for content websites applications online communities and guilds seeking funding monetization and user growth so there are so many um, um, um uses of this so you know it's like this model has been tested and continues to be proven by steamit busy.org 
chainbb.com, dsound.audio, dtube.video, and other Steam interfaces. So, several popular tokens such as Ethereum's ERC20 allow you to create and launch arbitrary tokens, but no protocols enable no protocol enables content businesses to leverage those tokens by aligning incentives between users and applications. This is the first. In fact, when it was when Atnet um, mentioned this last uh, in 2017, you know, the the price of Steam rose. The price of Steam rose up very high. You know why? Because people actually like this idea. It's fresh new idea that has never existed before and bringing it to the blockchain and using the steam blockchain that already incentivizes people it just makes everything um, so so big so new funding introduction leveraging tokens for autonomous user growth new funding opportunities immediate liquidity shared bootstrap tools monetizing with shared token rewards can my entity participate? Of course, anybody can participate once you have a blog, a website, a guild, whatever you have, you can incorporate it into the Steam blockchain and you are participating already. So, use cases content publishers, single token, so content publishers, forums with multiple token support, content publishers with single token support, comments widget for online publishers, sub community moderators and managers arbitrary assets token representing real world assets so owners manual creates a control account control account security token so these are all things that an owner will be able to set up just because he owns an smt so content rewards curve definition target votes per day smt setup imagine there are so many things that are here finite trades infinitesimal trades, you know, decentralized exchange, automatic order matching, diverse asset types, zero trading and transaction fee. This is so cool. Augmenting SMT with additional native contracts, you know, democratic SMTs using whitelist oracles, community building with paid positions, secondary ICOs for contiguous fundraising. You see? This is so cool, like you can still do an ICO over and over. So you say, what makes SMT better suited to application-specific blockchain such as Steam than application general blockchain? So you say SMTs are safer and more cost-effective in application-specific blockchain environment. SMTs on Steam have aligned proof-of-brain incentives with core token. SMTs on Steam have transaction pricing that contributes to a quality user experience. So these are all advantages of using the SMT on Steam blockchain. So Steam ecosystem support for SMT. So let's see integrating SMT into a website. Let's see how it works. That should be on page 58. Um into integrating SMTs into websites. You see, so here we are. So that's page fifty nine. SMT is naming standards. An SMT name should consist of three to ten uppercase. ACI letters. These are for designers to come and look at and be able to know how they can incorporate the SMT. That's why he said that it's a very technical paper. I don't want to make this more technical for anybody. So I'm just going to. They already have the links on the GitHub repository. So you can easily copy and integrate it. And they also say shared tools for account creation, key signing, and wallet function. Several shared tools exist to support applications that wish to outsource sign up, transa transaction signing, and wallet functions, such as Steam Connect. Steam Connect enables applications to support SMTs while the applications are backed by entrepreneurs who may have little to no cryptocurrency 
experience so on that note i bring this um, topic to a closure i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you plan to have your own smts by next year don't relent don't give up there's so much to gain from being on the steam blockchain it's in fact it is one of the fastest growing blockchains and it's going to overtake bitcoin it's going to overtake ethereum next year is going to be massive for the steam blockchain and even for the entire cryptocurrency world entirely so don't miss out on this opportunity get your own smts get your own website come and key in thank you for watching i remain my me myself and i naira daddy aka steam daddy my aim is to leave you better than i find you every day thank you